Hello everyone, this is Omega45, and a few days ago, I got a question on my uh, logistics pipe sorting system on someone who didn't really understand how it works. So, right now I'm going to sort of do a quick tutorial on how to do it, and uh, hope this will help. Now, I can't do this in my uh, world, since unfortunately my world file got corrupted, um, so I'm just going to try to do this off memory. So, here we go. Um, so first I had some chests, uh, let's do a little set of them, and then these are all chemical chests from a Cloven Exchange, they're made like that. Uh, and then behind all of those I had uh, Mark III logistics chassis, and they are made like this, basic logistics with gold around it. Um, and then those are all back here. Now these are chests that will be like holding things, so let's put um, wood in one of them, let's put sandstone in another, and pistons in one of the other ones. So, wood, sandstone, and pistons. Now this is just an example, of course I wouldn't actually just have uh, sandstone in one of them, I would have like different materials in them. But, um, so this is just sort of a uh, quick little run through. So over here I would have uh, another logistics chassis, and over here I really usually have an ender chest, and ender chests are made like this. It's also from another mod, it's called Ender Storage. Um, and what these are really cool is if you have the same coloring on a different chest, um, see how they both opened? Their, their inventories are linked. So um, it's really helpful. So you can have multiple chests around the world, and then if you have a quick sort module on this um, logistics chassis, which I'll go into in a second, it will automatically sort out. So chests around the world will all be sorted out and pulled into my, your base chests. Um, <clears throat> so this is a quick sort module, and it just pulls out every five seconds. And uh, let me get a wrench real quick. Whoops. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, and then you open this up, my quick sort module in there, uh, and it doesn't have anything you can do on it, so that'll just uh, sort everything out in there. So I think it was, okay, so it's these three chests over here that have stuff in them. There you go. So in here, I would have a provider module and a polymorphic item sink. Now these will, when the stuff in that chest is pulled out and begins to go through, excuse me, it's burped, um, the polymorphic will say, oh, I have wood in here. Any wood that's in that chest sort right down to me. And so that's what that does. You can't change it or anything. Um, so this becomes like a first route for wood. Uh, and then underneath that, I have a provider model. And what I do is usually do one item per stack. So what that'll do is it'll pull everything out if I request let's say 64 wood it won't be able to do it but if I request 63 it will because it will pull out everything except for one um, that's so it can keep sorting wood into this chest so I'll never have a problem with that so let me make sure oops uh, so like that All right. um, so yeah that's why you have to do that or else if you um, don't have that and it pulls all of the wood out of that chest, wood will just stay in that chest and not know where to go. So it's a very, very important part of the system. That, uh, that's what held me up the first time I made this. Alright, so here's the basic part of this. So I'm going to get some, which wood did I use? I think I used this wood, I used sandstone, and I used pistons. So let's go Put these all in here a little bit. They all should see. They go. There they go, and they all got sorted into their chests. So that's really just how this works. You put one of each item you want in each chest, and then you put what you want in your sorting chest, and they'll automatically get dragged out. Now another thing I did was uh, I had a refining system. So if I go over here, I'll put down. So I use macerators. Uh, these are from, I use a rotary mesh series. These are from like a more industrial craft objects, I think, or something like that. But they're from the more machines mod. 
and they're built just like this. They're pretty, uh, pretty simple. So let's just get one or two of those and put them over here. I can't remember exactly how I did this. I think I used basic logistics pipe. There we go. And then ah, requested items. So this will request items from whatever you're doing. So let's just say I want to do just for now. I'll do um, iron and gold. So any iron and gold that flow into the system should get pulled into these pipes. Um, now, actually, no. What I think I did was I did another or more uh, chassis pipes. Sorry, can't remember exactly. How I did this. It's been a little while. Um, and then I put modules in this. Let's see. I use an extractor mark two for each one, and then I believe I used a item sink. Let's see. Yeah, all right. I used an item sink. So item sink and a extractor. So extractor and item sink, and then in here I think I did iron in that one. So this gets gold. Yeah. All right. So this will grab uh, all of my gold and iron, and then when it extracts it, I'll just go right over here, and then I'll put down. I usually use red matter furnaces because I like them. Um, and let's see where. They Oh, it's arm first, I think. Yeah. All right. So there we go. And then this will be right, right that. And then I'll have two more modules. Again, a item sink and an extractor. Uh, so let's put that those in. And then for this time we need the dusts. So let's see, I did iron and gold. So uh, item sink, I need iron and gold, or gold and iron, whatever you want. Um, so there we go. Easy. Just to get these going, I need a. One of these, one of these. Can't remember if this is exactly how it works. Yeah, alright. There we go. Alright, so that's all fueled literally like forever because of this. Um, then for these, I will just get some medium voltage solar arrays and some cabling. Uh, I, I use a glass fiber cabling usually. And then just put these up here. Alright, these are getting power. And then what you always want to do is have levers on these. I know it takes power, but this really won't work unless these are always um, spinning. So see how the RPM is starting to go up? This will use a few EU uh, every little bit, but these will always stay at 10,000 RPMs once it reaches that. And that's the fastest it can mass rate. Um, I know what you're probably saying right now, I could just use the uh, red matter furnace for this, um, but when I very fir when I first started my world, I always macerated all my ores and then cooked them, 